So, Catherine, uh, double victory today, first race in the 60. Happy enough with that? Oh, yeah, I was actually delighted. Um, a good improvement from last week, so as long as I'm going up, that's the main thing. So, delighted with that. Yeah, and the uh, hurdles, not too bad, 8.5. Yeah, it was actually it's my second fastest hurdles time ever, so um, much better than last week's one. So, I just got it a, a little bit better, got into better rhythm this week. So, hopefully, onwards and upwards for next week. Yeah, so, you're showing great speed on the flat. Obviously, you're on the uh, squad for the European Championships. How, what do you need to do now to kind of get even further down the 60 hurdles to transfer that speed into the hurdles? Well, to be honest, I think for me, it's just practice. I need the experience. So um, for me, that's why I seem to be doing every race that's, that's out there. But I just need that practice to get through the nerves, to just try and bring my speed into my hurdles as well. Just pure practice, that's about it, yeah. Okay, so what's the plans now for the rest of the indoors and then going forward to the outdoors? Um, the indoors mainly, if I can keep improving those little bits as far as I go, um, I'd be delighted if so. I have varsities next week, so if I can get a bit better, I can run it zero one or two off then i'd be delighted then on to nationals try and do a good race at nationals i'd be delighted and then on to the outdoors and see what comes then if hopefully it comes out to the outdoors as well so. yeah so give us an insight into the the women's four by one team obviously a national record in zurich there you were part of the squad what's kind of the build up i know there's going to be potentially world relays and then building towards more championships hopefully in the summer and then potentially maybe Rio in 2016. Uh, yeah, it'd be really interesting because I don't think people realise how strong the female sprinting is. Like, you don't actually hear about them as much as you should. But we've got uh, like there's about 10, t 6 to 10 extremely powerful women. And you, I, to be honest, I don't think you hear about them enough. Like We have some excellent female sprinters. And even looking at the juniors last week, we're all like, whoa, we're serious talent coming through. So I think the women need a lot more. <laughs> they need to hear a lot more about the women's sprinting strong this year so hope you see some great things during the summer coming along. Yeah some great depth there Kieran Neville obviously coming oh, through yeah, as well. Brilliant like all the juniors flying through like you have Molly Scotch, you have Sarah Carthy, you have all these people who are juniors and now all of us are like all these juniors coming through so huge depth, huge depth of female sprinting and we should hear a lot more about it this year and then we're gonna have some serious times they say during the summer from all the women. Right we'll build them up. We had Matthew Behan just on there and we we're yeah. talking about uh, race celebrations for a Paul oh, Robinson okay. vest. Have you got any race celebrations or what one is, what one would you have done? Even in your dreams, perhaps, if you had the arrogance to, to pull it off. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a <laughs> <laughs> So it would just be a little, you know. I'd be like, thanks to everyone for coming <laughs> here. I appreciate everyone here, and thanks to all the officials and everyone for making this event possible. So the McManus Royal Wave, the perhaps. Royal wave. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks well, there, there. Yeah, that's right. Okay, well done, Catherine. Thanks,